Know Your Heritage, Zara's Wash Day by Zenda M. Walker, illustrated by Princess Caribou. Zara's Wash Day, a Know Your Heritage book. Little Zara woke up from her sleep, just as happy as she could be. Mama was already close by, and so was her favorite toy, Lammy. It was Saturday, wash day, and Mama gave her a few clues. Hair products were laid out on the kitchen counter. There were curl creams, conditioners, and shampoo. First Mama would wash, condition, towel dry, and then detangle. But the pulling of stubborn hairs was more than Zara's tender scalp could handle. Mama, why must I always have my hair styled in afro puffs, twists, and braids, but have to wait for a special occasion for it to be silk pressed and laid? Dear Zara, every day is special when you have curly hair. Each strand tells our family story and requires tender, loving care. Zara's eyes widen with curiosity. Mama, what do you mean? How can our hair tell a story? Isn't it just meant to be seen? Our hair spirals, zigzags, and bends. It's kinky, curvy, and can sometimes coil. These are all characteristics of an ancestral link to people from African soil. Soil that was worn by the sun. Africa's beauty is hard to beat. Our hair was designed as a natural shield to protect us from the heat. When I weave small cornrowed braids on your head that fall to each side, add a sensor braid adorned with beads or cori shells, we are celebrating the West African Fulani tribe. Sometimes I twist your hair into mini buns, similar to the South African Zulu. Why have one or two Bantu knots when you can have 22? When I part your hair into neat sections and form rope patterns with ease, we are creating a twisted hairstyle worn by the West African Senegalese. What about your hair, Mama? What story does it tell? Can you tell me more about my daddy's locks as well? My hair is inspired by East African warriors known as the Maasai, who spin and weave their hair into many locks and color it with red ochre dye. Your dad's locks are much larger in size, like the Kenyan Mau Mau, who fought to be free. Their hair was viewed as rebellious towards colonizers, even influencing Rastafarian legends like Bob Marley. There have been many moments in American history meant to silence our cultural pride and instill fear. Our hairstyles have served as iconic visual protests, letting the world know we're not going anywhere. So hold your head high, baby girl. You never have to frown because our hair tells a significant story, which is why we call it our crown. Mama Corn rolled a final braid in Zara's hair and kept two sections in afro puffs. The front section had wooden beads and the center braid had golden rings and cuffs. Zara looked in the mirror and touched each braid and curl. She couldn't hold back her excitement. Mama, I'm ready to take on the world.